Hello there. I'd like to uh, start by saying that I'm trying a new uh, camera uh, magnification, I guess, for want of a better word. I'm zooming in a bit closer just to see how that goes and how you guys like it. If you if you like this, uh, let me know. If you like the way I normally do it, let me know and I'll go back to that. But anyway, uh, tonight's soap is uh, from Christopher David Bailey, was part of a pass around. He sent several samples of several different soaps along with the Paul Mall Barber's pass around. And the soap that we're doing tonight is Saponificio Varicino, uh, 70th anniversary now. Saponificio Varicino, uh, from what I understand, is an Italian company. This is a triple milled soap and I've got a sample and I just put it here in the bottom of this mug now this is my old Vanderhagen bowl I may have to I may come to find out this piece of the sample that I used Chris sent a generous sample I've just got a little piece of it because it's a triple milled soap and usually it doesn't take a lot with a triple milled soap and the to be honest with you this is a, a high quality product from what I have uh, seen on YouTube what I've read about the product and I want to stretch it a bit because I'll never be able to afford it. Uh, but, you know, so I want to stretch what I got. So we're going to uh, try this soap out tonight. I'm excited for that. My brush, and I've been soaking it, is my Anthony McKenzie 24 millimeter synthetic. Okay, sit still soap. I, I like this scent on this soap already. Uh, to me, it's a really nice clone type scent. Christopher, I watched his review of this and uh, he described it as uh, just an incredibly bright, uh, I think he called it like a bowl full of brightness or something like that, uh, or a tin, shaving tin full of brightness or something along those lines. And uh, I got to agree in a lot of ways, uh, it's really a, a wonderful kind of bright scent. It looks to me like the that little bit of soap that I put in there is going to be probably just a perfect amount. I'm trying to make sure I get it all. But it is making a, a wonderful proto lather right now. That I think will Be absolutely lovely once I turn that into a ladder but like I said if I need more you know what there's more that I can go to lovely stuff transferring now to my lather bowl lovely I have uh, and yeah I know I showed this brush and it was soaking and you're not I don't know if it's that you're not supposed to soak a synth I know that you don't need to soak a synthetic brush but for me I don't see how it could hurt anything just to treat it like my normal brush as long as I shake enough water out of it that the water's not dripping down the handle or anything like that in this brush I don't see why there would be any problem in doing it that way and I have to say this brush I resisted uh, 
and that's making a lovely ladder really really fast I resisted purchasing or owning a synthetic brush for a very long time because I didn't like the way they looked and, and Anthony came and showed me on one of the Facebook pages he had a picture of this handle which is I mean that's a sweet looking handle but he had a picture of this handle with this knot in it and I saw the knot and I was like yeah that that looks a lot better than because to be honest with you that I've said it before that that brown top like uh, Plisson looking look at the lather that produced that brown top kind of Plisson looking not to me is one ugly son of a gun lovely I'm slinging lather all over now that is a wonderful lather it's uh, wonderfully soft wonderfully hydrated the sin is absolutely lovely uh, wonderful bright uh, cologne type scent and I'm using my Germania cutlery the Oxford razor with bird's eye maple scales so wonderful absolutely absolutely lovely slickness wonderful I ordered a a couple of straps from Star Shaving and and then I ran across a, a thread on one of the forums I won't mention which one But it seems like a couple of guys are saying that they think that star shaving is dropped off the face of the earth. Uh, they're not updating their site. And of course, one of the guys said he called the number that they've given a very irate woman, basically. Told him what to go do with himself. Uh, and I was at first, I spoke to a friend of mine, and I was like, I'm not even going to recommend them anymore because I don't know what's going on. But I since kind of revised that. They have a, a really good reputation. They've always had a reputation of, you know, uh, being difficult to get a hold of. And they've all, uh, you know, the last time that I, or the first experience actually that I had with Star Shaving was excellent. Uh, they answered my emails and I got my stripe in like two weeks, three weeks, I think, three weeks, I think it was, which. From what I understand, that's pretty good with them. And uh, so this time around, I'm not getting any communication from them. And I, I went on their site, and uh, it looked like 
they weren't doing anything. But I just went on their site this evening, and they have updated uh, some of the some of the stripes that they, that they were out of when I was ordering mine. One that I wanted actually. Uh, they're back in stock. They've updated some of their products. So I've got to believe that they're still in operation and what's going on is normal for them. And uh, people are panicking because they're used to almost instant. They're used to Amazon and, and some of our uh, fine wet shaving vendors like Maggard razors that get things to them in a quick second and and are very forthcoming with information and answering emails and all like that. So I'm going to hold off judgment and just wait and see because to be honest with you, the strop that I have you can go back and look. There's a, uh, a video I got that's basically saying it uh, says the title is basically, I think, got something to do with like do the best you can with what you have or something like that. And, and then the subtitle. And, and that's not anywhere close to the actual, but it's a direction to go out when you start looking through. I got like 150 videos, so, but for just in shaving, that doesn't count my music, musical stuff, my guitar stuff, uh, razor uh, and razor re restoration and stuff like that. But anyway, the subtitle is, or check out my new strop and. What I did was take one of their $16 straps which is basically one of their beginner straps, which is just a really good piece of leather. And I added a cloth component to it and turned it into a nice two-piece strap. And that's the strap that I strap with. And it's a wonderful quality. The leather to it is wonderful. The quality of the leather is wonderful. And so basically I ordered a couple more of them and I'm going to do them like I did this one. Actually, I'm going to check one of them out, put it back in the box, seal it up, and put it in my closet until I need another straw. Uh, but anyway, so, you know, the quality of their stuff, their straws, In my opinion, is, is wonderful. So, so I'm just going to hold off for a bit before I start freaking out like everybody else, and just see if the straps come in. Give it a month. I'm going to do a little bit of touch up right here, and uh, see. And then and if they come in I'll let you know but this is a lovely back to this soap
in my opinion, the reviews of this soap are absolutely correct. This is a very, particularly Chris, Christopher David Bailey's review. This is a very high quality soap. Uh, wonderful slickness, wonderful glide, plenty of cushion. If you like that sort of thing, I've told you before, cushion is not cushion is not even really a concern for me with a straight. I don't need it. I need that slickness. This has got it. Wonderful slickness. Uh, really easy to uh, whip up a lather. I'm going to use Hawson Z14 aftershave because I think it will match this pretty good. Uh, very little product. It's being a triple milled soap, it takes lovely. Very little product to uh, make a lather with. I've got five more shaves out of that sample easy so wonderful stuff uh, if you're looking for a higher end type of soap I would highly recommend Saponificio Varicino's 70th anniversary offering if you can still get it uh, I understand they make uh, a couple of di other different types different scents and different types and if the quality of those soaps are anything close to this quality they are also top-notch soaps and uh, Chris I thank you for uh, giving me the sample uh, and being generous with the sample I mean I'm sure he scraped that off the top of his puck you know his personal puck and uh, I appreciate you being willing to, to share something that nice with me because that's a that's a wonderful soap all right God bless you guys those of you guys that are worried about star shaving let's all calm down see what happens uh, but it wouldn't hurt if you believe to pray for them. so I mean my opinion all right God bless you uh, thanks for joining me on this review wonderful soap and I will see you guys later